Okay, I just finished exporting all six versions of the game. I can't wait to put this new demo on Steam. Oh, a bug. Well, I didn't plan on finishing this game this... lifetime anyways. Hi, I'm Levin, and I'm making a split-screen multiplayer FPS called Couch Combat. It's been a while since I updated the demo, and I think it's about time for an upgrade as the old demo is looking a little... old. But I think it would be cool to get the demo actually on Steam instead of HIO. And my game is very professional, so I bet they'd let me polish it on Steam no problem. Well, I guess I could polish it a bit more. Oxford Dictionary defines polish as to make the surface of something smooth and shiny by rubbing it. And I define polish is purgatory. You can always polish a game or a project more, and there is always something that can be improved. Polishing is basically just trying your absolute hardest to improve everything. And because of this, the infinite void of time occupied by polish is a very necessary but not very fun part of game development. But sometimes, this polish can save your entire indie game. No clickbait 2022 Danny Carlson Gone Commercial Steam Indie Game. Because I realized that my game was actually violating copyright laws. With the freaking text. So yeah, apparently people can not only copyright fonts, but I could also get sued if I use them in a commercial project like a certain couch related game. So I quickly looked around online for some free for commercial use fonts, and I found one that actually looks a lot better in my current font, so I switched it out right away. So yeah, other than single handedly saving my game from annihilation, I also finally listened to my comic section for the first time in my life, and I reduced all the ammo for all the guns in the game. This forces you to actually sometimes have to use multiple guns in a round, and also value your shots slightly more. But speaking of saving my game, besides liking and subscribing, which I'm sure you've already done, by far the best way that you can support my channel for free is just by wishlisting my game on Steam. More people wishlisting before I release the game really boosts games like mine in the Steam algorithm, which is absolutely invaluable for a developer like me who has absolutely no marketing budget. Also, this video is sponsored by Mental Checkpoint, which is a name you might recognize if you are a viewer of my channel, because he is a game development YouTuber that makes videos over game design. I can testify firsthand that his videos are very interesting and helpful from a game design standpoint, so much so that I actually ended up using one of his resources that he made later in this video. Overall, Mental Checkpoint is one of the best video game development channels out there, and it was super cool of him to sponsor this video. Be sure to check out his channel link in the description of this video and subscribe. Over the past month, I've been implementing controller movement in the menu, and it has been a surprisingly massive task, but all I've got left to do is the settings menu which also happens to be the most complicated menu in the entire game. The settings menu has two lines of settings that can be toggles, dropdowns, or sliders. And might I remind you, currently the game completely freezes for about 30 seconds whenever you try to navigate this menu with a controller. So I took the logical approach and I killed the settings menu with fire. The new settings menu is clean, sleek, and simple. Well, it pretty much looks the same as the last one, but now it's only one line that doesn't have a scroll view. And ironically, with the removal of the scroll view, it's actually possible to scroll through the settings and click on them. The new settings menu is complete and looking quite drippy if I do say so myself. So all that's really left for the menus is making them look and function a bit better. So I got on that. Trust me, I hate working on these menus as much as you probably hate hearing about them at this point. But Mental Checkpoint, who is the sponsor of this video, just so happens to have controller prompts available for free on his website. So I used these and added them everywhere in the game, and they look quite nice and make it quite a bit easier to navigate on controller. In its original plan, Couch Combat was designed to be a meditative experience. No music. The only sounds are the calming sounds of gunfire, explosions, and hit markers. But meditation is going out of style, and I hate artistic integrity. So I'm going to try to instead find a composer to make some lo-fi beats this couch slash combat to. But honestly, I doubt I'll be able to find anybody. I guess I could try posting to this subreddit. Maybe I'll find somebody if I'm lucky. And wow, suddenly I'm a celebrity. But after sorting through seemingly thousands of composers who all seem to make the same dramatic orchestra music for movie trailers, I found a composer and a self-declared cutie pie who is somehow willing to put up with me and actually managed to make some really good music. All of the music is in the demo and it's got a really cool mix of jazz, rock, and EDM going on. For the menu music, I took inspiration from the classic game Mario Kart Wii. In Mario Kart Wii, as you progress through the menus, the music in the background gets more instruments added to it. And in my game, there's a similar system. It starts with simps then it adds drums, and finally guitar to the music. And as the Ketters might say, it totally bangs. But taking a step back from active development, what exactly do I have planned for the future of Couch Combat? Well, I'm planning on doing three main things before release. Online multiplayer, controller rebinding, and more content. Of course, I'll do smaller things like bug fixing and more polish, but I'm not going to announce a release date until all these things are done, as I don't want to rush any of them. 
Basically, I'll just announce a release date, and then the last week or two will just be time for me to polish, test, and market the game. So far out of these three, online development is going pretty swell. I'm using a new solution called Fishnet. Get it? Like, fish networking? Like, a fishnet is used the fish, but this time net stands for network? No? You don't get it? Well, to be fair, you do need an above average IQ to understand but why 11. I'm hopeful for implementing online multiplayer into the game using Fishnet, but I also imagine that it'll take an incomprehensible amount of time to bug fix and polish, so I'm not looking forward to that. And the rebinding system should not be too hard with a new input system, and more content is what I'm most excited about. But I'll hold off details for that until later. But back to the present, which is actually the past for me because it already happened, now I'm talking about it in a devlog, time is an illusion, I had to add some small features that are necessary for any demo. I added a pop-up page within the game that shows all the controls and also will secretly serve as the base for rebinding in the future, and also made the about page of credits and stuff, added links to all the important stuff about couch combat, and added a page that shows up that basically just tells people to join my Patreon. I also had to fix some really dumb bugs in the main menu, but I was unable to fix this one issue in the game options menu that doesn't let the 3D model show up whenever you open it during the game. This is because of camera layers and stuff, and I haven't really figured out a way to fix it yet, so I'll have to come back to it after the demo. Finally, I just locked a bunch of stages and guns out of the demo. You can still play all of the newly renamed Samurai area, but only the first level the Outrun and Western areas are available. You'll have to wait for the full version of the game to come out for those. Or maybe you could just join my Patreon for all the content now if you wanted to. I'll leave it up to you. And then I put the demo on Steam after a few days of processing, which kinda delayed this video a bit. You can go get the demo on the Steam page and wishlist it while you're at it. Thanks again to Mental Checkpoint for sponsoring this video, and be sure to subscribe to his channel. Thank you to my legendary Patreon, Howard House, who I owe everything to. Thanks for watching, bye.